harbor is a strategically positioned point of exchange for goods, people and cultures. Beirut was built as a port city around its harbor that today serves as a hub for import, storage and transshipment. The port of Beirut has expanded from the city center towards the eastern suburbs in decades. The blast of 2020 demolished a great part of the harbor, raising questions regarding the current efficiency of the pre-exposed harbor and the ongoing trend of expansion. The new urban plant on the ground zero of the port explosion refunctions the harbor into a lively housing neighborhood with public functions. Resultantly, the functions need to be relocated. Braywood Anchored proposes a sustainable and efficient notion of the port through densification and optimization of facilities. An additional dock hosts robotic cranes for efficient transshipment. The parking garage is the main actor for reorganizing the mobility scheme of the port at the entrance gate, also improving the truck loading system. Lack of connectivity is a significant struggle in the area, resulting in isolated communities. The highways, river and topography create hard borders interfering with the connectivity on the site. Isolated functions resulting from rigid borders are breached with green public spaces as three main axes. The prolongation of the existing green line will improve the connection of Romay and Quarantina through affordable housing. The cleaning of the river allows the polluted riverside to be transformed into public space and serves as a pedestrian access for the adjoining neighborhoods towards a creative digital campus at the end of the estuary. The campus relates Quarantina with the landfill through Fashion Creative Office and the Post Digital Depot. The green urban spine allows dense residential neighborhoods to breathe on the landfill as well as cleaning the landfill. The strip is supported by residential functions, cutting through the industrial border, connecting the most densely populated district in the Middle East from Armenia Street to the waterfront. The landfill functions as a prototype of sustainable production and an equitable neighborhood with the public waterfront. Agriculture School educates upcoming generations about sustainable methods of food production. The Algae Power Plant, in response to the current energy crisis, aims to generate an independent source of energy, powering the master plan. These facilities function together as an eco park, becoming the backbone of the landfill. Learning from the existing privatization of Beirut's waterfront, a strip of promenade ranging from 20 to 100 meters connects the Fisherman Harbor and Marketplace with the estuary. The water sports facility is a significant actor along the pedestrianized promenade contributing to the goal of recreation and leisure through water. Overall, the scheme aims to blend segregated zones into each other around the point of intersection.